Hey there, this is Sarah from saradesign.com and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the skinny acrylic tumbler mock-up that I am adding to my shop. This does not have glitter on it yet. I wanted to make sure to release this because I have people waiting for it. I will add some glitter layers later, but what this file does have is the ability to easily change the colors. So let me just walk you through everything. So here at the bottom of my layers palette, we have our background, which is just white. I also have a folder in here, which I'm going to be deleting. You're not going to have this folder when you get the file, but I just wanted to show you what I tested with. So I tested it just to make sure that it looks good over a background and you can see through it, but it still looks solid. It doesn't look like an invisible thing. <laughs> so that's how it looks on that background. And this is how it looks on white. And then if you were to add a solid color, it would look something like this. Okay, but I'm going to hide that for now. Inside the Tumblr folder, if I open that up, we have a smart object layer, which basically covers uh, this area of the Tumblr. It does not cover the lid or the straw, but you can add your design to just the main body of the Tumblr. We have our color options layer, which you can't see anything happening there right now, but you will in a second. The Tumblr itself and the shadow. And I made the shadow a little different from how I have in my other files. I've just masked out the bottom of the tumbler itself and put the shadow underneath. That way you aren't seeing a big dark circle or oval shape here through the bottom of your tumbler, which would make it look murky and dirty. So let's turn, actually we'll turn off the smart object. Let's open up color options. All right, so this top layer in the color options is different from the others below. This one is just the white straw. So if, if you add, um, if you use a color version of the tumbler down here and you have this layer on, the straw stays white or clear. If you sell these tumblers and your straw matches the color of the tumbler, then you just turn off that layer and it will show really easy. It's either white when it's on or it's the color of your tumbler when it's off. I picked the common colors that I see for sale online and just went ahead and created them for you. So we have green, pink, red, teal, blue, purple, sort of a gray, like a darker color, and then just white as regular. You can also change these colors or alter them. So for example, let's just duplicate the green layer for a second, turn it on. This is just a copy. I'm making here. If I were to double click on the square on the layer that's green, it will open it up in a new window, which gives you the option to change it. It says color picker, solid color, and you can just pick any old color on the rainbow in this box that you want, that you feel is a good match for what you're selling. I don't need that layer, so I'm gonna delete it and just leave you with the originals but it's very easy to use. Okay, so above that we have the smart object layer. Let's double click on the left side of the smart object layer where there's a square here. That's the actual smart object itself. The right side is a mask where you see a black square with the shape of the tumbler on it. We're gonna click, click on the square on the left. It opens up your smart object in a new tab like I've shown you in, in my other videos if you watch those. It's a PSB tab. And this is where you can add in your design. So just hide or delete the one that I have and paste yours in right on top. And then you can move it up and down in this space and go, if you hit save, the little asterisk up here in the tab will disappear. You'll know that it's been applied and you go back to the original and you can see where on the tumbler it sits and if you have to make any adjustments. Just for a second, I'm gonna show you, if I if I turn on this rectangle layer, it's just a red layer, um, and I hit File, Save, see the asterisk went away, I go back, and you can see the area that is um, being covered by the smart object. So it's just like the main body of the tumbler itself. I'm gonna turn that off, because I don't want that on. <laughs> and we'll hit Save again. And we're back to the original. So I hope that gives you a good indication of how this file works. Again, I'll be adding glitter soon. Um, I just want to see what kind of 
uh, typical glitter heights people use on these. So I can make sure to give you all the options that you will ever require. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, become a subscriber of my channel if you're looking at this on YouTube and follow me and like the videos so I will know to make more of these. And other than that, happy sewing.